I'm gonna throw you up a big fat meatball for you to hit out of the park okay, right now. I'll... Barack Obama, born in the United States. Go. <laughs> you wanna know? I don't talk about it anymore. You don't talk about it? I talk about, about jobs. I talk about our veterans being horribly treated. I just don't discuss you it. Know America's most famous birther, Donald Trump, says he doesn't want to talk about it anymore. Back in 2011, Trump claimed to have dispatched investigators to Hawaii to investigate the president's birthplace, going so far as to claim they cannot believe what they're finding. After a fed up, President Obama released his long form birth certificate back in 2011, saying, quote, we do not have time for this kind of silliness. Trump held a self-congratulatory news conference, saying he was honored for his role in, quote, hopefully getting rid of this issue. Yet to this day, Trump refuses to acknowledge the reality the president was indeed born in the United States. Something has changed, however, whereas Trump used to want credit for the birther movement, now he's uh, pawning it off on Hillary Clinton. In 2008, she was the original birther. She's the one that started that whole thing. Hillary is a birther. Hillary is the one that started it. Check it out, 2008. Trump isn't the only Republican presidential candidate or conservative making that claim. In July, Ted Cruz asserted the same thing when asked about being born in Canada. People seem to have a problem with that. Well, you know, it's interesting. The whole birther thing was, was started by the Hillary Clinton campaign in 2008 against Barack Obama. And I recognize that there are folks online that, that, that like to push that issue. In a radio interview this morning, Clinton was asked about her alleged birtherism, as well as the claim that in 2007, she and Obama had a heated confrontation over Clinton allegedly circulating emails claiming Obama was Muslim. Did you or your campaign start the whole birther thing? And did you have that, a, a, so, that confrontation that with is, the president? No, that is so ludicrous, Don. You know, honestly, I, I, I just believe that, uh, first of all, it's totally untrue. And secondly, you know, the president and I have never had any kind of confrontation like that. Now, when I was a reporter with The Nation back in 2007, I actually reported this out a bit. I took a long look at all the smear rumors that were circulating around Barack Obama, including one much forwarded email accusing him of being a secret Muslim. And I traced the claim to a 2004 press release by a prodigious lawsuit filer named Andy Martin, who would go on to claim on Fox News Channel without evidence that Obama had once trained to overthrow the government. The claim that the president was a crypto Muslim eventually morphed into full out birtherism, that he wasn't born in the U.S. And to help us understand exactly how that happened and whether there is any connection to Hillary Clinton, I'm joined by Dave Weigel, national political reporter for The Washington Post and a America's foremost birtherologist. Um, Sadly, yes. <laughs> okay, the, 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 the Ted Cruz claim, the Trump Cruz claim, the Trump claim, Hillary's the original birther, she started it. That's not true, is it? It's, it's not true, although it has taken up a lot of coinage on the right recently. Uh, I, I, I don't know when to date the shift. I think you can really look to 2011 when birtherism started to be an irritating problem for Republican candidates. Uh, led by you know, led by Trump, actually, that they started to say, well, Hillary Clinton is the one who started all the rumors about Barack Obama. She uh, was a dirty politician. It's their fault, not ours. It's not how it worked. I, I would re recommend people go back and read your article. And also, differentiate, differentiate between the types of arguments here. The argument that Barack Obama might have been a Muslim, conspiracy theory not true, was different than the argument that he might not have been born in America, a conspiracy theory that had the possibility of disqualifying him from the presidential ballot. And I, I wrote for The Post today, drawing on these notebooks that I, I had ha happily let gather dust, <laughs> that, that, that grew up from super hardcore, unendorsed by Hillary Clinton, Hillary supporters, who in the summer of 2008 wanted her to be the nominee. They kind of floated this, they researched it, they decided it wasn't real. And that had a long life after those guys moved on. But those are two different theories. One, one that Barack Obama was a kind of other, one that he literally was not born here and can't be president. And, and that latter, I mean, just to be clear, first of all, it doesn't matter. Let's say Hillary Clinton was responsible. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't uh, forgive other people for, for, for foisting this nonsense. So it's, it's bizarrely, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's a bizarre defense to use to to say, well, so-and-so started it. But second of all, um, let's be clear about the birther movement as a movement. I mean, you had, uh, you know, you had official resolutions introduced in state houses. You had lawsuits. All of this was coming from the institutional grassroots of the Republican Party conservative movement, just to be very clear factually about where this was coming from. 
Right. There were Republican members of Congress who signed on to a uh, bill to require more information, hint, hint, from future presidential candidates about their citizenship. There were no Democrats signed on to such things. Uh, that honestly surprised me. I always looked at birtherism in 2008 as a long but not that long tale of the Hillary Clinton dead-enders who wanted her to be the nominee. But I should say, I think you said something along the lines of it, 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 what, what, whether or not this happened, whatever happened. It's important that Hillary Clinton's campaign did not actually try to feed this. So there was a staffer in Iowa in December 2007 who forwarded a Obama's a Muslim email and was fired. Uh, Mark Penn wrote an infamous memo that we only learned about a year later, uh, saying that Barack Obama was a bit too other. He was his Indonesian past. He was unelectable until maybe 2050, which was not right. But he <laughs> he wrote that as a way of saying this is why he's unelectable, not that we're going to go after him for this. And you could you could also say, well, that's a bit cynical. But it was basically true. The Clinton campaign played, played very occasionally, just a little bit around the edges with this, every time was badly burnt, because it was just Occam's razor here. It was not politically advantageous for her to look like she was demonizing personally and racially the first black president. For Republicans in a very different party, with very different opinions of the, of the president, it was not a downside to go into this. Yeah, that, that's the key point here, right? I mean, you had, mm -hmm. I mean, Donald Trump, of all, of all the people for Donald Trump to sort of point the finger, I mean, Donald Trump was standing up there himself making this claims, claiming to have hired private investigators. It wasn't people loosely affiliated with Donald Trump running around the margins, forwarding things. And let's be clear, right. the Clinton campaign in 2008, you know, there was some dirty stuff that happened. There were some oppo research that I remember hearing about where I thought these people have lost their minds. So it's, you know, there was stuff around the edges, but that's very different than that being a central plank being pushed by the campaign of which there's no evidence. There yeah, no, completely. And the Clinton campaign had a lot more material. I mean, the Jeremiah Wright story, they, even when they pushed a little bit, they had to be ginger about it. When he, she was asked once if he was, a, if what his religion was, and she played a little bit coy, there was yep. a backlash. So the yep. Clinton campaign dealt with this very differently. I, I, I think it's just the fact that it's being taken seriously at all actually says something larger about the political narrative about Hillary Clinton, which is that you can blame her for anything. People will believe that, they're, <laughs> right. that her, Sid Blumenthal, et cetera, are so dirty they can be blamed for anything. Right. And I think, <laughs> let's go story to story. In this case, it's not really her and her circle who made this a meme. It was conservatives. All right, Dave Weigel, thanks very much.